Oh, baby. This is 21 and a half months in waiting. Stick around. I'll show you what's in here. Okay, so I think my gimbal's going to behave. Let's go ahead and let's kick this pig. It took me 21 months. It took me two sellers. My local completely failed me, but it's not the end of the world as I'll explain it a bit, but uh, finally a six inch Colt Python. <laughs> I finally have my Rick Grimes, bitch! Anyway, there it is. Stainless steel, six inch barrel, walnut grips. Not going to change a thing. This is probably the quickest and quick and dirty videos I can do. So, this is all the usual accoutrement, which is usually just Lucas Extreme Oil, which is obviously here join the NRA so they can take your money and give give away your rights and your lock which apparently doesn't work on revolvers a uh, quick overview I suppose if you just fell off of a turnip truck this gun was originally invented I think in 1951 thereabouts and it ran all the way up until almost 2000 when I graduated high school in 97 I didn't know shit about guns so this wasn't even on my radar. And then after they stopped making it, hey, it made it onto my radar and they were $4,000. Go figure. So, uh, fast forward to, what is it, SHOT Show 2019 and this debuted and I placed a pre-order almost immediately for it. And a friend of mine did that too. You probably know him as Golden Web on YouTube. I'll leave you a link to his channel somewhere down there. Anyway, gentleman's bet was started. Whoever got theirs first wins the gentleman's bet. Not only did he get his, he sent it back to Colt twice. They replaced the gun. He bought two more. He got an anaconda, and he got a second anaconda before I got this. And I didn't even get this from the local I placed the pre-order from. Go figure. I'm not gonna call him out by name, even though my dad and I have been shopping with them since for almost 40 years combined. I'm a bit pissed off. But, end result, still got what I wanted. Uh, looks like according to the serial number, I'm in the six digits already. Yeah, almost a quarter of a million of these already, if they started at one. I don't know if they did or not, but I'm six digits in. I know Golden Webs is like a four digit, so. Hopefully, maybe, this is a CZ built cult. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, differences between this and a Smith & Wesson? Let's see, the ventilated rib, obviously. Uh, the fact that the cylinder turns in reverse compared to a Smith & Wesson. So if you cock it this way, it goes clockwise. On a Smith & Wesson, it's anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. And cylinder release goes outward that way instead of a button inward on a Smith or on a Ruger into the frame like that. So there she is in all her glory not quite shiny enough for me not yet not yet that's going to require this and a lot of this maybe i'll even throw a picture in later of the finished results but i'll have to take it apart clean it out polish the absolute hell out of it and then put it all back together and oil it there she is so for my local damn you Take my deposit, put it towards the anaconda I'm picking up maybe tomorrow. That's right, he's got a six inch anaconda waiting for me. So it's not a total loss. So I get both snake guns. I guess it was worth the wait. Anyway, uh, let's see, other differences from the original, didn't have the red ramp sight, didn't have the adjustable rear sight, 
I uh, heard the trigger system's different, or the, sorry, the trigger system in there is different than the original. This is supposed to be simpler, maybe crisper. Don't quote me on it, but this is my first cult, so whatever. Leaving it just the way it is. And I also have a, I forgot the name of it now, Bruckheim, Berkheimer? Bruckheim, Lawman swivel holster. I couldn't find a Tex Shoemaker 42A, which is what Rick Grimes used in The Walking Dead. However, I'm pretty sure that that was a copy of the Lawman holster that I have, because mine's older, and that company's been around a lot longer. And Tex Shoemaker's dead and out of business now, so good luck finding one. But I do have a basket weave swivel holster. I'll put in a picture in here at the end of the video. I just wanted to show you my new acquisition because I sold my 686 plus, no, sorry, 686-6 with the full under barrel lug two and a half years ago because I knew I was gonna replace it with this. I just didn't think it was gonna take this damn long. February, 2022. Anyway, Colt Python, six inch, gorgeous. Range video will come soon. Finally got my 357 long barrel back to accommodate my 327 night guard eight shot. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a regular here, welcome back. Either way, maybe hit the like button over there. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Maybe check out my other playlist and see if my other interests might be of interest to you. Not really a whole lot to show you on this. I mean, this has been debuted and showed off for years already. So I've just laid on, all right, I, I missed the bus. So I finally got one, I'm playing catch up now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Yes, there will be pictures of this all cleaned up. I'll add them in later.